Hey everybody, it's Master Galangeist here, and today I'm bringing you my thoughts and kind of impressions of the Overwatch beta. So, from what I've been gathering from betas that I've usually played, usually what you see is kind of what you're going to get in the final product. And Overwatch isn't a bad beta. It really plays pretty tightly, the abilities are pretty interesting, it really has a lot of kind of cool stuff in the universe to kind of like get into lore and everything wise. But my main thing is it's too much like a MOBA for me. I can't customize my weapons, I can't customize the gear that I like to, kind of COD style, Halo, Destiny, you know, kind of make myself look unique and everything. And it's really heavily dependent on having a team that you know what you're going to be doing. If you go in by yourself, you're not really going to have a good time, and that's kind of what happened with me. I kind of got in, and I'm like, okay, I'm choosing this character because this is kind of like the one that I had fun with, and I wasn't able to coordinate with like my other teammates to see what kind of um, makeup we need to make sure that we were able to have fun and win, or just be able to have kind of more of a fun way to do it, because I usually like multiplayer where you die, and you kind of spawn kind of faster and are able to get back in the action quicker, whereas with this you usually have different kind of spawn zones and then you have to make your way to it, kind of similar to Battleborn and other kind of MOBAs. And it's just, it does move quicker than usual MOBAs, I can tell you that. And granted, I might be miscategorizing this because it's kind of like a combination of stuff, but it's got too much of a MOBA feel for me to actually like the game. Now... It's mainly because you need to get a group together. Now, granted, I've LFG'd for, like, Destiny and everything, but that's mainly for, like, raids and all that. This, you'd have to get a team together that you know is going to be getting together regularly and just kind of, like, pumping through to have fun. And I don't know if I'd be able to get that with playing it on Xbox because I just noticed the threshold for certain games, particularly multiplayer games, has been going down recently. Usually, you need something kind of somewhat to destiny in the division, where you've got a mix of PvE and PvP to kind of keep people together. That way, you can split off and do either some groups doing co-op, doing certain kind of PvE stuff, and then you come back together and PvP stuff and kind of wreck stuff how you'd like to do it. But with this, it's just mainly multiplayer-centric and... It's really kind of weird to me on that, because I've seen a lot of stuff for Overwatch, like trailers and all that kind of stuff, and it's got a really interesting world. It's just, you don't really explore that in a multiplayer setting, which kind of confuses me why you build such grand stuff that you're not really going to see, unless you see that they're going to expand it into movies, and kind of shows and kind of card stuff and kind of lore things like that. I'd rather actually like kind of play through that stuff so that way I can figure out who Tracer is, who Winston is, who these characters are, and where they kind of fit in the world, and what they're trying to do. And I think that's kind of how it's going to start going because with Titanfall, the sequel, we've heard that we're getting a campaign mode. And that's pretty cool because I think that that had the best way of kind of fusing a story with multiplayer. Granted, it still wasn't as best as it could have been, but you're still like, I kind of know what's going on and I kind of know where we're fighting each other. So there's that. And it'll be interesting to see how they expand that more to story mode. So my overall opinions are it's, it's a tight and good game. Abilities are pretty cool and fun. But if you don't have a team and you're just trying to do this solo, you are not going to have a good time in my opinion. So I'm probably either going to wait later on or maybe not even get Overwatch. So those are my opinions. Tell me what you guys think in the comments below. If you liked it, if you didn't like it, if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Also, like and subscribe, and I hope you have a good day.